Tony Stewart is living at NASCAR right now. So this is an update video from yesterday when we talked about uh, NASCAR fining, penalizing Cole Custer and the 41 team for manipulating the race finish at the Charlotte Roval last weekend. The crew chief indefinitely suspended as well as fine 100 grand as well as Cole Custer, docked 50 driver and owner points. Here's an update to that. Tony Stewart is livid at NASCAR. Now, it first started off with Stewart Haas Racing posting this statement saying that Stewart Haas Racing denies any wrongdoing and will vigorously defend its personnel against these allegations in its appeal with NASCAR. And that was with Greg Zipadella, the chief uh, competition officer of Stewart Haas Racing. But Tony Stewart, in a recent article from the AP, he went off. Like he is mad, mad as hell at NASCAR right now. He said, I'm not going to talk about it. I am so mad at NASCAR right now. I'm not talking about it. Now, this follows up a tweet he posted the previous night when he said, looking for a new weekend hobby, something not Southeastern based. If anyone has any ideas, something low drama and relaxing, preferably. Obviously, with the not uh, Southeastern base taking a shot at NASCAR, but for him to say that, I am so mad at NASCAR right now. This is after dropping one appeal. Uh, Stewart House Racing is having to deal with $200,000 in fines or something like that because not only do they have the uh, the uh, penalty with Cole Custer, they also had to deal with uh, the four car, Kevin Harvick, and uh, modifying a next-gen part with the rear deck lid. Uh, Ronnie Childress, they denied or they uh, dropped the appeal. So uh, Ronnie Childress will sit out until Phoenix. Uh, he will be returned for the final race at Phoenix. I think Will pay that 100 grand fine uh, and I think Kevin Harvick was docked I think 25 or or no I think it was 100 uh, driver points and owner points he was uh, docked for but they have to deal with that and they have to deal now with Cole Custer in that situation back to back and this is very interesting because not only did Stewart say he was furious at NASCAR he also said this about his new team in the NHRA. He said that he's super glad that he's going drag racing this weekend. If it weren't for the fact that I've got a couple of appearances that I have to make, I wouldn't be in another NASCAR race for the rest of the year. Wouldn't waste my time. When asked if he was still having fun with the NHRA, he said that he loves it. The atmosphere is way different, way different. And I like the atmosphere there I have all year. Woo! Smoke on some smoke tonight. Um, <laughs> wow. If it weren't for the couple of appearances, he wouldn't even be at a NASCAR race. That is very, very telling about how he feels with NASCAR. Now, we know Stewart throughout his time with NASCAR. He's always uh, had issues with executives at NASCAR. But, man, I don't think I've ever had heard of a time where Stewart was this angry with NASCAR, or at least in a very long time. But this is huge. It also begs a question about maybe you could throw in Stewart's future relationship with NASCAR. I mean, he's having a lot of fun with the NHRA and is furious with NASCAR at the moment. I mean, uh, I'm not going to speculate on the, the exact future on if Stewart could potentially pull a move or something like that with NASCAR. I'm not going to speculate on that. That's way too further down the line. But wow. I mean, Man, is it difficult to be a NASCAR fan at the moment, or at least to be NASCAR at this moment in time. I mean, you're getting so many shots from everywhere. NASCAR, they are trying to make some ramifications. Uh, they announced that they will be covering any costs for uh, changes to be made with the next-gen car uh, across all platforms, with the rear clip, side clip, in terms of new safety enhancements that will roll out next season. NASCAR will take care of that, which is good. Um, but damn, I mean, for Stuart Haas to put out a statement like that, like where they are vigorously defending their position that they did not cheat or that they did not try to deliberate the uh, the ending of the race. And for Stewart to say all that stuff, wow, wow, wow. His relationship with NASCAR is, I guess you could say, at an all-time low, at least as a team owner. I mean, I can understand uh, Tony Stewart's feeling about the situation. Um, when you look at w the penalty that uh, NASCAR's uh, uh, throwing down on them, and then you look at the history of situations in terms of race manipulation, it is inconsistent. And on top of that, with the modification, like I can understand why Stewart is furious with NASCAR. Back to back, you're getting handed down massive penalties. I can understand Stewart's frustration. I can understand why he's mad. But holy hell, I did not expect him to be this angry 
for him to not even want to go to a NASCAR race. If he, he's being forced to go to a couple races at this point in time, which should not be a team owner's mindset. You would think if you're the team over NASCAR team, you should be looking forward to races, you know, looking forward to seeing how your cars do. Stewart wants to go to NHRA. He don't give a damn about NASCAR at the moment. But yeah, it should be interesting to see what happens with that appeal between NASCAR and the 41 team at Stewart House Racing. Um, very, very interested to see how that all lays out and Stewart's reaction for when the appeal or what happens as a result of the appeal, whether it stays or whether it will be overturned, um, remains to be questioned. An update on Alex Bowman's concussion. We know that he suffered a concussion or concussion like symptoms uh, at Texas a few weeks ago. An announcement has been made on whether or not he will return this weekend. He will not. And in fact, he will not return for the remainder of the round of eight. Bowman posted on social media that he will not race for any of the three races in the round of A. So Vegas, Homestead, and Martinsville, he will not return to. Uh, Noah Gregson will continue to fill in, and more than likely, the 16 car will be driven by A.J. Allmendinger. Um, I mean, I don't know. Bowman may try to return for the race at Phoenix, the championship race, but I think at that point, um, more than likely, don't want to assume any uh, judgment on the timeline of a concussion because it varies person by person. Um, but I don't know. It would be weird to come back for one race just to then stay out of the car for another two months. Um, but hopefully uh, Alex Bowman can return to 100% as soon as possible uh, so that he can be able to do everyday things normally without having to deal with the concussion-like symptoms. It is not a good time to be NASCAR right now. I also find it very interesting that you look at all of the racing series, NASCAR, Formula One, and IndyCar, we can even throw in IndyCar, they started the season with so much hype and anticipation. And by mid-August, all of that momentum is gone. What NASCAR had at the beginning of the year, the, all that momentum's gone. F1 at the beginning of the year, all that momentum's gone after Japan and after other issues throughout the season. But it's not good to be, not fun time to be a racing fan. Uh, maybe, except if you're IMSA. If you're an IMSA fan, you're loving this because you're just chilling, not having a care in the world, just loving everything. While NASCAR, F1, and IndyCar are like literally like almost shooting themselves in the foot like every single time. And finally, want to re, and finally, I want to bring up on a topic that I didn't talk about yesterday's video, and that is Kurt Busch. Um, didn't have time to talk about it, but I'll bring it up right now. There was a report by Lee Spencer that talked about, uh, reportedly that. 2311 Racing will buy out Tyler Reddick's contract with RCR. Um, and around that same time, you know, it was reported that Kirk Bush will hold an announcement and Bob Parker has confirmed that as well as numerous news sources. Bush will hold a news conference scheduled Saturday morning at Las Vegas. Uh, 2311 and RCR executives and Reddick representatives uh, declined to comment. On the last few days of Kurt Bush's status and Reddick possibly going to 2311 Racing. These in the NASCAR garage, I mean, she... I mean, it, she's a credible news source. She's a credible reporter. Um, so uh, I'm, I don't want to speculate because I, you know, we don't know. But when you think about it, it's Kurt's hometown. If he were to return, you would think it would just be a, an announcement, a quick announcement to be like, I'm not going to race this year, but I'm going to come back next year. You would think it would be a quick announcement like that on social media. The fact that he's holding a press conference in his hometown and a report from a credible source saying that Red X contract will be bought out uh, by 2311 from RCR to come drive next year. I, I think the writing's on the wall. As much as I want to be so wrong about this, but I think the writing's on the wall. But of course, we're going to have a video going more in depth on that announcement on Saturday. So make sure you look out for that Saturday afternoon. But what are your thoughts on Tony Stewart going off on NASCAR? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you all so much for watching. This will be the last video done here by... The next video, I will be back in my old studio, so can't wait for that. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more content. Until next time, my name is Jet. Thanks for watching.